Hello guys, it's Jace4, I'm doing flips and shit. Now, as I was saying before I realized, hey, we could end this part here, I was going to say that even though you see me, like, appearing and stuff in the overworld, like I, you know, usually cut out, for this first couple parts we're going to, because there's a lot of sudden changes that happen really fast, so... I'm gonna need to keep those in, so... It, you just... Cope with it with me, please. Don't worry, we'll be through it before you know it. We'll have everything unlocked and everything done. So, from here we'll go back to Rico Harbor, our little second world. Jump across these logs, and this guy talks about blooper surfing or some shit. All you gotta do is just grab a blooper and just ride the waves. Uh, yellow is intermediate. I believe green is the slowest, and then pink is the fastest. However, pink controls the hardest, and green controls the easiest. So, yeah, and plus, you know, yellow is intermediate. So that's just your little lowdown of the goopers, the goopers, the bloopers, and their stats. And this guy's gonna have you do a race to go through this obstacle course. Real quick, before I do that, I feel the need to show this off, even though it's kind of minor. Let me see if I can do it. There we go. No real big deal, but I thought it was cool the fact that... Fuck you. No. Come on, please. Thank you. Oh, what you doing, Mario? Flip. Jump. Hover. See? You see how easy that was? I hate you. I really do. Just get the fuck up there. Believe me, it is not that hard to get up here. Mario's just a bend. See? I've done it. I've done it. No! Damn it. That was so intelligent. Alright, well, let's, let's go then. Alright. But yeah, you can get up there, you can look around. There's really nothing up there, nothing special. I just think that it's cool that you can. So, let's go for our blooper surfing on this uh, obstacle course. When you're blooper surfing, you cannot touch anything. If you hit anything, you will crash and you will die, and it will say, too bad, so sad, I'm glad, chicken was mad, I don't fucking know. But yeah, that's simple. Now you can jump that wall, I'm kind of used to doing it by now. It's a little shortcut, but you can also go around it. Can I... Well, hot damn! Okay, back now, with a better time. I didn't realize that you would get, like, a too bad sex to be you kind of warning if you didn't do it in time, so... Now that I've actually gotten the shine and I've shown what's up there, I can just edit out that uh, race the second time, no real point in showing it. So, let's grab it, and GTFO, do it again! Shine! I'm gonna take a drink of my water. I wonder if that picks up on the mic. I just started swishing it around because I'm a fearless bastard. I was like, you know what, let's swish this water around. So I did it! Anyway, moving on now, because there's more commotion in the overworld of Isle Delfino. BAM! That felt nice. Now, if you roam around Isle Delfino, though, you'll notice there's a little bit of secrets around here. Such as, right over here, there's this hidden sewer passage. All you gotta do is ground pound to get in the sewers, and in this particular one, there's a 1-up. So, I haven't shown that off yet, but now I've gotten the chance to show off the sewers, so let's go the uh, uh, hell over here, excuse me. I'm gonna clean up this mess yet again, and now I'm in the oil. Holy shit, dude. Alright, get clean now. Alright, that was a lucky shot. Alright, keep your distance. There you go. Spray him in the mouth some more. He's so thirsty. See, you gotta be like me, because I just took a drink of water. Dude, what the hell, man? There is so much goop. It's everywhere. Spray him in the mouth. He missed his mouth. Get him in the mouth. There you go. That was good. Get that. Alright, this. Why is it coming over here? It should not be doing that. It, it's crawling towards me. I don't even know why or how, but it's just doing that. It's like, you know, it'd be great if I just spawned underneath your feet. 
I don't know if I showed it or not. I think I did. Fuck you, Toad. I hate you. Anyways, let's move on to World 3 then. This is Gelato Beach. And... There was something I was going to say, but I forgot. Clever me, right? Ah! Here's something I can discuss. Um... In case you didn't already know, any level in this game is named after something Italian. And I believe most of it is food, actually. I mean, I don't quite properly remember the translations off head, or memory, or whatever. <laughs> head. But, um... Every level you see is named after something. I believe it's a food item, though. But yeah, it's all Italian, so I like how they kind of, you know, went with something Italian for an Italian plumber living in M Mushroom Kingdom, New York. Now there's those little doom buns that you spray, and then from them, secrets appear. There's a secret level in each world, sometimes two. And you're gonna need to deal with it. And then when that happens, you lose your flood, which means you deal with the floodless levels, which are the secret levels. So, we gotta go throughout an obstacle course without flood, so it, it's not necessarily that bad, but we, we can tough it out. That was bad. That was very bad. I almost made it fall. Yeah, those are little things of sand you don't want to stand on. Also, in these uh, secret levels, you'll find nails. Some of these nails, if you pound them, have one-ups inside it. So, keep an eye on those, I'm probably going to. I mean, this game is really good when it comes to lives, because it gives you a chance to have a lot of them, and it's actually cool because it decides to save your lives. So instead of turning off the game and ending up with 5 lives each time, you can start with like 10, or 2, it just depends on how good you've been. But I, I find that rewarding and very nice. So now that we've scaled this obstacle, very casually, we can get, there we go, our shine. I gotta say, I love the music, and I love the room. There's clouds in space, and train tracks. Tick, tick, tick. Each time I hear that, it makes me think of a train. Actually, I believe if you do pay attention, there is a train that goes around. Also, there's another one up. Anyway, enough stalling. Let's grab it now. Save! I guess something else I could discuss is, as I usually do, the beta. Inside the beta version of Super Mario Sunshine, believe it or not, there was actual people in this game. If you look up footage, you can see Mario running across Isle Delfino, and then there's a little girl. She's blonde, and she's in it on person that kind of comes to mind is like Rosalina, but without the hair. She has a parasol too and she's standing off against a building. So, originally this game had actual people on the island, which was rather cool. The flood was quite, well at least, mm, I don't remember the flood being different, but I remember the water icon being different. I don't know, I might go look it back up some just to refresh my memory. I also remember another thing that I'm not going to state until that happens, so, yeah. Now then, these little enemies right here that you've been seeing, the blue guys, they're called Cataquacks. Those guys on the mirror are relatives to the Cataquacks. I don't quite remember the name, but yeah. The blue ones do not hurt you, while the red ones do. So let's go hunt down this red one, kick his ass, and get a blue coin for it. Now I'm gonna go get a couple blue coins real quick. Aha, right here. No, go away, leave me alone. Yeah, they like to throw you in there. They're kind of cool bad guys. I don't really have any negative feelings towards them. There you go. Now if you run around and pay attention and start spraying the sand, you'll find these little shine sprite symbols. And then when you find them, spray them, they're... and you can get a blue coin from it. There's at least four on this beach, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab these real quick, because they take very little effort. Let me just go down here. If you want to slide faster, you should either tap it vigorously Yes, I just said vigorously. 
or just spray and then do a slip and slide style effect. Slip and slide style effect is really better if you want to go fast, but hey, tapping like this is kind of amusing, so. I believe there's one over here by this boat. That boat! I want that boat for Christmas! Alright, right here. No, I saw it. There it is. Alright. We've gotten all that. Plenty of blue coins. We're actually doing rather well. If I do say so myself. I know there's a couple others that I'm seeing, like those uh, triangles that I'm kind of just not dealing with. I, I might deal with that as a later part. I don't feel like blue coin hunting to death on this first, you know, level or so. I, I mean, like, the first shine. I can blue coin hunt, you know. I'll more than likely get all the blue coins after I've gotten the coin star, so that's probably the way things will go. But, ugh! Coin stars last, so... Uh, well, second to last, technically. Now, what you need to do is, as you saw, spray those guys, loosen them up, and then knock them right off their mirrors, which will then heat up that little egg because it's reflecting sunlight and shit. So, I hear a bunch of them. No, wall jump. There you go. No, quickly, get on it, get on it. There we go. Alright, just give him a bit of a spray now. Now, as you see, these guys don't really have the same beaks, so they can't throw... <laughs> that was the most ridiculous flip I've ever seen. So, as you see, though, they can't, like, flip you up, so instead it looks more like they just, uh, bite you or something. Let's go over here now. The way it should be. Yeah, there you go. He walked over to the edge himself. He's like, let's trade places, buddy. There we go. Also, sometimes if you're lucky, though, you can see their reflection fly away, so it's pretty cool. Also, rather hilarious. Oh, shit. I just kind of placed him somewhere. Anyway, it just leaves one more mirror to go. So let's jump. Well, that was a nice, pretty full reflection. Oh, no. Okay, fine. Fuck you. Did, whoa, was I just through it? Because I think I was through it. There we go. Much better. Now that we're on it, let's go fight to the death, shall we? Duh! Uh, if you're not quick enough, though, they will um, regain their balance. So, we just got a two for one, and... There's something floating around us. That doesn't really look healthy. Wiggler just kind of disembodied himself. He might want to go get that checked out. Well then, they decided to be a total knob and put it way down there. Alright, chill out for a second, Mark. Right. Uh. I figure they wouldn't do that this way. Anyway, let me just see if I can do this quickly. Get it? Yes! There's a blue coin. Get it. Ah, blue coin get. Sweet, we've already got 20. So it just leaves another 220 more. Alright, onwards. Like I said, though, I'm going to try and unlock all the stuff first before I actually go around, and then what I'm probably going to do is go get three shines in one area, then three shines in the rest. We'll probably have, like, a different level each part, more than likely, or something like that. Oh, shit. I guess this is the end of part three, I'm assuming. I don't know, I'm looking at the time. I don't really know this, but... Uh, I want to say hello or goodbye, but then again, since that whole blooper thing kind of threw me off, I don't really know. Holy hell, I didn't want to do that, actually. You stupid. <laughs>